Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland This is relaxation, hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. There will be two versions of this recording, one with and one without music. So to start with, It's important that you make sure that you can find a place to be comfortable. Ideally, a time when you won't be disturbed. And also, there is a chance you could fall asleep. So if you have something else to do in an hour's time, for example, I suggest you set your alarm. You can listen to this laying down in your bed or sitting in a comfortable chair, but make sure the chair supports your body in the event of you falling asleep. There is more chance of falling asleep if you listen lying down. Because when we lie down, it's just the natural position that we're, we're used to, really. Just in the same way as when you're sitting in a chair, you've got your eyes closed. It's a natural position to start to feel relaxed. Especially when there's nothing else really going on. You know, the television's not on, there's no no one else in the room necessarily. You're not talking to anyone else. There's nothing to look at, there's nothing to say, nothing nothing to talk about. It's just a case of focusing on my voice. And I'd like you to get in touch with how you feel in this moment. as you listen to my voice. And there may be background sounds. I mean, I'm recording this at a time when the birds are starting to wake up in the trees outside but it's very faint. You may have background sounds where you are. However, the well, one of the really good things about just closing your eyes and deciding that you are going to, you're going to allow yourself some time out. You're going to gift yourself some space to just let go of everything for a period of time. Because
because you're the one who has made this decision. To spend some quality time with yourself. To just close your eyes and allow yourself to slowly unwind. And I know that we, we use words sometimes and phrases that perhaps we don't take literally. But when you think about the idea of unwinding, you know, I get the image of maybe one of those anything that has a wind up mechanism and for example an old watch an old clock a grandfather clock or something like that or some, maybe an old toy soldier from a hundred years ago or something that literally would have a key that you could put into the back and wind it up and it would maybe walk along the table and then eventually you'd hear it whirring and eventually the the thing would completely unwind or a musical box Again, putting the key in, winding it up, and then it plays music, and eventually it winds down, and it it just comes to a stop. It's peaceful. And these kind of things were invented long before electricity so winding something up was a way of making it work maybe for long periods of time like a watch before we had batteries or solar panels or now with the eye watches you know that you can plug in and charge up So if you think about it in a way, the idea of unwinding ourselves could be taken literally. So the thing you could do to start with is you can imagine that key that's used to wind you up in the back of in your back. Imagine taking it out, removing it, put it into your pocket. So that nothing external can affect you. You can't be wound up by anything or anyone. Which means all that can happen now is you can continue to unwind. And 
it may seem like sometimes that perhaps you don't get an opportunity to unwind regularly maybe because you feel that you're continually being wound up a little bit more and you unwind a bit and then you wound up a bit more by something else that maybe happens or something that somebody said to you or some thoughts or feelings but the idea that somebody else has access to that key to wind you up without your permission doesn't really seem very fair to you so you can remove that key putting it in your pocket which means you you no longer have a reason to to blame others for how you're feeling because you'll be taking back that power so that the only person that can ever wind you up is yourself so it's a choice so you can have that key removed from your back you can put it in your pocket and leave it there for whenever you choose to use it In the meantime, you just naturally start to wind down. And it, it can feel quite freeing. Almost liberating to realize that you've now taken back control over that key You've now taken back control and responsibility over how you feel. that feeling is actually quite relaxing and comforting to know to really know that you're in charge of yourself that you decide what you do next and you decided in this moment to relax
completely. By allowing the stress levels to unwind. Unwind. Gives you a new perspective. On just how much you really can do. Anything you choose to relax at any time becomes the right time you to let go and unwind, creating this safe space to really Appreciate yourself for the amazing person that you are. And all the wonderful things that you're going to achieve in the future. You can feel more relaxed just knowing that you're the boss of you. can really, really let go. As you feel your body and your mind unwinding even more. And more. Comfort spreads throughout your body. Really feels calm. Also in your mind. Deeply. Deeply relaxed in your mind, feeling more and more so calm, so calm. something nice about allowing yourself to feel peaceful, allowing yourself to enjoy the comfort of deep relaxation in every muscle of your body 
and deep inside your mind, deep inside, deeply relaxed. So calm, so very peaceful and still. And there's a countdown from five down to one. You'll notice that you'll unwind completely by the time we get to one. You'll unwind completely. Now. Five. Four, three, 